you got off lucky, homie. recognition shit already?
about, well, finally, some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this world. Come in, Franklin. We've got a positive ID on the suspect. I repeat, we have visual on Chad Mulligan. No vehicle in sight. All right, look, cool. We looking for his lockup, dog, all right? Stay on him and look out. Roger that.
car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. You think anyone's gonna take it off your hands? It's too hot. Walk away, gangster. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Ah, uh, no! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, hers. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker!
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Excuse me, my fault. Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch.
What up, girl? You gonna get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. Hey, baby, what can I get it for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, baby. You miss me? I was starting to think you weren't coming. Oh, I always come. Aw, oh, you such a... You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through.
Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Hey, get in, we're running late. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Jesus, have you been drinking? Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie. Why you bailing? Attention, passengers. Please hold on to your fucking seats! Stop the bus, you maniac! Just get on the bus, man. We saved the seat for you and everything. Oh my god! He's got a gun! I'm calling the police! Oh my god, we hit someone! Did you see that? Who's got a phone? Call We're the taking police? a short detour, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, relax. Just business shit, you know how it is.
What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! You need anything, get me on the headset. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? Fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. What? We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. Fuck.
could use a Sharon cough sour right now. Whatever. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet! There it is. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. That'll go down next time. How'd it go? 
Oh, fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Tell don't. Him. Answer fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a 
A very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. I thought I had final approval on all what stuff the hell performers. Are you doing? Get Look that guy out of there! The He's not signed sorry, off! Sorry, fool. Get out of the car! Oh. about get to the side of the road what happened when I press oh. 
If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drama. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing, too? Uh, both of those is going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, look, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Fucking 
Jesus! You uh, wicked devil! Hey, don't make uh, me commit a 187, uh, homie! Right. Fuck your struggle! Uh, this don't make no fuck. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <clears throat> Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking uh, business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! 
Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio!
I can be myself out here. Bullying, reckless, totally selfish. Do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. You speak to Oscar, the Mexicans, this deal on? Captain T in a 1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Final warning. Divert or you will be grounded. My fate's in your hands. Have we got a pilot on board? Merryweather cargo jet to ground control. Please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency, over. Ronnie, the cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the Mac? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly 
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. 
sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye, bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talk about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital and tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, and meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. The bus stops up here. All right, how long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally.
Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. There's an empty lot behind. And no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner and drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars three, six, nine, and one will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that, four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, guarding dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car-to-car -car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. Oh.
Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. This really the guy you want? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. Huh? I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. <laughs> 